Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another one of the amazing US universities. It's University of California at Los Angeles or UCF. It is the most applied to university in the country and is located in close proximity to Hollywood. Yes, THE Hollywood. The largest film industry in terms of revenue and chances are if the movie you're watching is about college, it's filmed at UCLA. Let's look at the most camera-friendly university in the US. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. UCLA is one of the public IVs in the US, providing an Ivy League education at public university prices. It gives you the same opportunities and guidance as the eight known Ivy League universities. Well, UCLA is located, as the name suggests, in the Los Angeles. And what can I say about LA? Well, I'm sure everyone knows about how amazing this place is. It's the largest city in California, accompanied with Hollywood experience on the every street and the locations to die for. UCLA has about 419-acre campus, located in Westwood, a community of Los Angeles. UCLA campus is located between Bel Air and Beverly Hills, a short drive from Venice Beach and downtown LA. The architecture is mixed with new and old styles as most of the US campuses that were established in the 19th century. Old buildings are mostly Roman or Italian styles surrounded by gardens. The UCLA College and 12 professional schools offer more than 5,000 courses in the wide range of undergraduate majors, master's programs, doctoral and professional programs, and minors. The most popular majors at UCLA include economics, sociology, biology, political science, engineering, mathematics, chemistry, theater. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of ranking, still UCLA is one of the top 5% universities in the world according to US News and QS News rankings and all other major ranking services. Alright, let's move to our next section now, talking about the right fit, starting with the very first fit, the academic fit. UCL is well established in the STEM programs. Engineering and applied science is highly regarded as especially biology sciences. Mathematics and chemistry are also strong. The School of Theatre, Film and Television is the first rated as well. Apart from these, the programs in economics, sociology, biology and political science enroll the most students in UCLA too. Most freshmen are engaged in their department-specific majors only, but some of the general course requirements are there, like including English, History and Sciences. Although the education is intense and competitive here as well, there are a lot of faculty-led overseas programs available as well for interested students. And the financial aid is also included in traveling. The faculty at UCL is absolutely amazing. So far, about 25 Nobel Prize winners are amongst the campus and alumni list. The faculty has some sort of top researchers in the country, which according to some students deliver the best lectures as well. UCLA receives more than $1 billion, yes, $1 billion each year in competitively awarded grants and contracts, and approximately 6,000 funded research projects are underway at any given time in UCLA. UCLA being a very large school, expected class size is large as well. Although 57% of undergrad classes have fewer than 20 students, Required core classes that are usually in first year can go up to 300 to 400 students in one class. Yes, it could be that big. On the other hand, graduate classes are normally small. So keeping all this thing in mind, I will rate UCL with 5 stars on academic difficulty and quality level where 5 is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move to the social fit. Social life in UCL is very celebrated. If you are here, you will always feel like you are a part of something greater. And although everyone is striving for life, UCL will always give you time to stand up and breathe, making your experience pleasant and relaxing at the same time. There are more than 68 Greek letter organizations on campus. UCLA is the home to cultural, academic and social fraternities and sororities. Campus location is an added bonus to the social life here for sure. Located near Beverly Hills with the beach, the mountains and the amazing Hollywood hangouts all within an easy 10 to 20 minutes of drive. Students at UCLA participate in something called Midnight Yell during final week, which is exactly what it sounds like. They yell at the midnight as the break from studying. UCLA has about 42,000 students. Yes, I told you this is very big. With about 30,000 as undergrad and remaining PG and some of them are PhD students. Around 23% are out of state and 12% international students. UCLA takes pride in the extraordinary diversity of students and providing opportunities for students regardless of socio-economic background. 36% of the students live in university housing. Freshmen and sophomores are guaranteed housing, but for everyone else, it's strictly a waiting list. The trend right now is for students to live on campus two years, then move to apartments close by for the next two years. UCLA is known for its food, <laughs> yes. Freshmen will often tell you that one of their best experiences as a student was the diverse food offering at UCLA. 15 dining halls, restaurants and snack bars serve meals that students rave about. There is an abundance of healthy and fresh choices including vegetarian and the very famous vegan dishes. Yes, I love vegan dishes. 
Well, when it comes to sports, UCLA has a staggering number of college titles that they have won, including more than 115 Division I championships. They have more than 260 Olympic medals. The most famous are men's football and basketball teams. Main sport matches are with USC, the closest rival. In fact, a brief story about the rivalry. The victory bell that is awarded to the winner of annual USC-UCLA football game has a tradition that started way back in 1941 when USC students stole the 295 pound bell from UCLA. Yes, you read it right, 295 pounds. This sparked a series of pranks between students at both schools. UCLA offers a balance between academic and social activities, but as the academic and research side is always dominant here too, I would give it a 3 star out of 5 on the quality of life at UCLA. Well, now let's look at the financial fit. UCLA is an expensive school, especially for the international students, being located in one of the most expensive cities in the world. Annual tuition fee is in the range of $40,000 to $50,000 and living with room and board is about $18,000 to $20,000. The on-campus housing is less expensive as compared to off-campus. For the American citizen, the fee is way lower than this. As far as financial aid is concerned, the undergraduate scholarship for international students is not available. But for US students, there are various academic and sports scholarships available. In fact, for US citizens, 45% of undergraduates pay no tuition at all. More than 35% of undergrad receives Pell Grants, federal aid for students from low-income families. For postgraduate, it is possible to get scholarship for both US citizens and international students as per the department budget. Well, overall, I would give it a 3 star out of 5 on the financial fit. Well, after exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to get into UCLA. UCLA is the most applied to university in the country. For the most recent intake, UCLA received over 167,000 applications. UCLA is again one of the highly selective universities out there. Last year's overall acceptance ranged between 10% to 15%, which is very low. Well, now let's look at my admission advice to get an admission to UCLA. The ideas I'm going to share now are not available anywhere and comes from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admissions. UCLA is looking for students who challenge themselves academically, engage in extracurricular activities, and demonstrate a willingness to contribute in the community. UCLA prides itself for its research, so it is a research-based university. Three words that UCLA is fond of, discovery, creativity, and innovation. These three words are hallmarks of UCLA, so make sure to showcase some aspect of those in your applications. If you have time for your applications, make sure to build your profile around these three words. For admission to UCLA for undergraduate, plan to take APs or advanced level courses if you are not in AP or IB board system. This will benefit a lot in highlighting your potential to take higher level coursework. Along with academics, concentrate on one other highlight that stands out in your profile, be it a skill or co-curricular that can set you apart from other applicants. Try to figure out that one thing in your personality and develop on that. While applying, make sure to talk about your leadership ability. You can highlight this through the activity list, but I would advise you to write an essay that can highlight your leadership capability. Next thing is to talk about service for others. You must demonstrate concern for others and for community. One more thing I want to talk about is your character building. How you have spent the last few years in building your character. Skills like motivation, tenacity, initiative, originality, responsibility, maturity, etc. Showing research interest and intellectual independence will be a great plus for getting admission at UCLA. One more very important thing. Well, you don't have to do all of them. Doing one or two or few is enough. So don't get overwhelmed by all these ideas. I am to give you comprehensive information through my videos. So feel free to pick a few ideas and work on them. For instance, if you are not too interested in research, that is absolutely okay. Maybe leadership is your thing. Or maybe public service is what you love doing. Talk about that in your application. For admission to UCLA, sending a good application is the key. For undergraduates, UCs have a single portal for one application deadline for all 10 campuses. That is about 30th November every year. The result date is also the same, March 30th every year. As far as postgraduates and PhDs are concerned, all UC campuses including UCLA accept individual department applications. Most of the courses have fall start only with very few post-grad summer or spring options available. Deadline for PG is around November to March. In the end, UCL is looking for students who challenge themselves academically, engage in extracurricular activities and demonstrate a willingness to contribute in the community. If you're hardworking with intense pressure, fun-loving, amazing at time management and aren't scared to explore every corner of your personality, UCLA is for you. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked this video. Make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video. And also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. 
Also, a very important thing, if you want to get admission to your dream college, you can check out my course on college admission. It is the most comprehensive course on the planet, teaching you tons of strategies for university shortlisting, profile building, essay writing, college interviews and everything else that will make sure that you get into school of your choice. Thank you once again and I'll be back with another super amazing video for you. I'm Shirish. Take care and have a good one.